as you look at a globe and you look at the coast of the United States in South America on the eastern side, and as you look at Europe and Africa, I think it's pretty obvious that they go somewhat the same direction. If you'll notice down through the center of the ocean, there is a thing called the Mid-Ocean Ridge. And what's happening here is that there is a parallelism that you can see. Years and years ago, scientists wondered if somehow there might be a connection between the opposite sides of the Atlantic. I have a lab I used to do with my high school students where you would cut out these continents, lay them on the table like a big jigsaw puzzle, and fit them together. And they would fit together essentially perfectly. It's a marvelous picture of somehow the idea that there might be a connection here in some way. Now, as you look at this next visual, one of the things you might notice is that when we make a cross section of the Earth, we find that in fact, what I've just shown you works well with what we understand the inside of the Earth to be like. And this drawing is not to scale by any stretch of the imagination, because the crust of the Earth is like an onion skin comparison. But there are zones to the Earth. The core of the Earth is extremely hot. The mantle of the Earth is not as hot. And the surface of the Earth is relatively cold. And outer space is still colder yet. So what happens is that in the zone, which is called the mantle, there is a movement of material. And so what we believe has happened in the history of the Earth is that this material has moved to the surface, and you can see the mid-ocean ridge in this drawing, and it has gotten to the surface, it has been broken apart and moved laterally. And do you know this can still be measured? You can go to Iceland today, and you can see in Iceland, which is right at the top of where that material is moving to the surface, that things are separating. You can put two sticks in the ground, and if you come back 100 years from now, those sticks will be further apart, measurably. And while we can't do this so much with sticks, satellites have been able to make measurements to show that, in fact, this motion is taking place. We are moving this way, and Europe is moving that way, that there is a separation occurring. Is there anything in the Bible that suggests this? Listen to verses 9 and 10 of the biblical record. And God said, let the waters under the heaven be gathered together into one place. And the Hebrew word that is used here, the word kwan, refers to a bowl, essentially. The water is in one place and let the dry land, singular, appear. According to the Bible, originally the water was in one place and the land was in another place. And this agrees very completely with the idea of continental drift, the fact that all of the land masses on the Earth were together at one time, and natural forces functioning with the Earth and the Earth has driven the process and continue to drive it today.